What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The after movie makes major changes to the story of Tessa Young and Hardin Scott from the original book by Anna Todd. While most of them were necessary, some really important things were left out and skipped, which resulted in a different plot than what fans expected. Here are 10 of them, including the one with the gender switch. Tristan is a boy. After is an American romantic drama film directed by Castile Landon, based on the adult fiction novel of the same name by Anna Todd. Because the film is based on a book, it made a lot of changes in its plot, and a lot of them were made because the film couldn't include everything in such a short time. Not something that was left out, but definitely something that changed the plot of the film is the gender switch used on the character called Tristan. This is clearly one of the biggest differences in the film and book, and Anna Todd talked about it in an interview explaining, according to her, the necessary change. In the film, Tristan is played by actress Pia Mia, and then in the book, Tristan is male. Tristan is one of the love interests of another character named Steph. Todd said that they needed to be more diverse, and for her, it just fits. And it makes perfect sense that Tristan is a girl in the film. But fans were not really happy with this change, since Steph also has a romantic relationship with another male character in the book, Professor Soto. How do you guys feel about this? Let us know down in the comments. Carol's Awful Personality Yet another difference from the book that fans immediately spot was the one with Tessa's mom, Carol. In the second film, the character was played by actress Selma Blair. However, in the third film that was released this year, the role went to Mira Sorvino. The major change in her attitude was noticed mostly in the second film as Carol was not the same person fans remembered from the books. Maybe Selma Blair's acting changed the initial idea of Carol being bad, but one thing is certain, Carol wasn't as awful as we knew her. This was one of the rare changes that fans loved and thought was more suitable. In the book, Carol is much more difficult to talk to and she's too controlling over her daughter. How did you guys feel about this character change? You're gonna break up with this boy and you are gonna focus on your schoolwork. Harden's Actions After is a franchise that follows Tessa, a character portrayed by Josephine Langford, and Harden, a character portrayed by Hero Finds Tiffin. The first film was about Harden making a bet with his friends about whether he can convince Tessa to fall in love with him. Some of you will immediately link the plot of After with the plot of the 90s classic, 10 Things I Hate About You, but no. After has nothing to do with 10 Things I Hate About You, as Todd's work frequently includes steamy scenes involving its leads. One thing that is really different from the book is the proof of the bet. In fact, Harden's whole personality is different in the film, but the biggest difference is certainly the one about how far Harden was willing to go to win the bet. The film completely changed the dare to be about making Tessa fall in love with him. In the book, however, the bet was about making Tessa sleep with him. The book also involves more details about the bet, such as Harden keeping the bloodied sheets from their night together as proof to his friends. Also in the film, Harden offers to help Tessa after her mother kicks her out, but in the book, Harden actually plans everything so he convinces Tessa into signing a contract, just so she can't leave him. This only brings us to... Is he okay? Hmm? The night mess. I heard him last night. Harden's book character. Most fans who haven't read the book often talk about how bad Harden is, and they also claim it's his fault he and Tessa are in an unhealthy relationship. Well, our recommendation would be to read the books, and then compare Harden from the book to Harden from the film. When doing this, you'll notice a major change in Harden's personality. Even though he's wicked in the film, he is still soft compared to his character in the book. The book gave Harden a terrible mouth that constantly talks bad to Tessa. The film also skipped a lot of scenes where Harden is seen being violent. We don't know if the fourth film of the franchise will portray him just as he is in the book, or we'll see a new completely changed Harden, but let us know what you think. Is Harden capable of changing for the love of his life? Can love do that to a person? Let us know. More graphic steamy scenes. For everyone who thinks the movies are way too steamy, again, try reading the books. After We Collided definitely contains more steamy scenes than the first film, but in the entire franchise, a lot of steamy scenes had to be left out so the films could be suitable for everyone. Harden keeps another proof. When we said Harden was awful in the books, we weren't exaggerating. One instance perfectly proves how bad he is. He literally keeps his used condom after sleeping with Tessa for the first time as yet another proof he won the bet. Another thing the movies left out is the phrase fucking Trevor, which is only used once in After We Collided. In the After We Collided book, this phrase is said a couple of times. Thank you. I'm just gonna no, let you know. No, no, I just no, want to talk to you. No, Tessa, no, Tessa, no, Tessa, no, stop! 
Look, Harden, I think this is a miss. Oh, oh. The end scene. As Harden and Tessa go through a hell of a relationship, they end on a pretty bad note at the end of the book. After she finds out about the bet, Tessa feels awful and simply leaves Harden. However, fans who have read the book noticed how Harden apologized to Tessa. He writes her a letter expressing his feelings in their final English class paper. A lot of book fans were quite surprised by this. Also, at the very end, Tessa goes to see Harden at the lake. That didn't happen in the film. Logan and Nate are not included. Two characters that were inspired by One Direction's members Lewis Tomlinson and Niall Horan in the book unfortunately weren't included in the film at all. Nate is mentioned a lot in the after books as a former friend of Harden Scott. His looks were based on One Direction member Niall Horan. Nate is one of those characters that keeps himself out of all those messed up situations Harden finds himself in. Logan is also mentioned in the after novels by Anna Todd, and his looks were based on the member of One Direction, Lewis Tomlinson. Logan is also a pretty good guy who tries to keep himself out of Harden's dramatic life. However, both of these characters are presented as party animals in the books. We also need to mention that Logan is in a relationship with Molly Samuels. It means the world to me to have everyone I love here with us. I am beyond proud. Zed Evans's lack of involvement. Zed is one of the characters with an ignored appearance on the big screen. He and Harden go through a lot of arguments in the book, and because the film chooses to neglect him, there weren't enough storylines for us to see their unfortunate meeting on screen. Zed is very similar to Harden when it comes to their looks, but they are nothing like when it comes to their personalities. Trevor was the other love interest of Tessa in After We Collided, and he actually took Zed's part in the story. Welcome back, bro. Christian Vance is not an after. Some fans are like, oh, we want Christian Vance, but it's like, do you want seven minutes less of Harden and Tessa? Nope, you don't. So you'll wait for the next movie, Anna Todd said in an interview before After We Collided, was released. She then thought to herself, oh wow, we have to change all these things, but actually it ended up being really fun in a separate storytelling way. While there were a lot of changes in the after films, Anna Todd said she did stay as true to the book series as possible, and Josephine Langford was always there to help her decide. Whenever she did a change that she was not so sure about, Josephine was always the one to point out, saying, no, that wouldn't happen. You ready? Yeah. Uh, where are the last ones here, so I just have to set the alarm. Merry Christmas. Which of these changes do you guys love? And of course, which ones do you hate? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.